welcome back to Scrapped Auto 3 And let's just start doing our mission for Tony here The laundry has agreed to pay. You did real good, kid. Go collect the cash and bring it back here. Watch out for the triads. They may be shoving a firecracker up your ass. But don't take no crap. Nobody, I mean nobody, messes with Tony Cipriani. Oh, it's Cipriani, not Cipriani. So, uh, yeah. And so, let's take the bit of this car since it's not damaged. <laughs> Salvatore has called a meeting. I need you to collect the limo and his boy Joey from the garage. Then get Luigi from his club. Come back here and pick me up. Then we'll all drive over to the boss's place together. Those triads, they don't know when to stop. They want a war, they got a war. Now get going. Okay, so, uh... Need to go to... Uh, let's just take the, the new car here. Get you. This 
is from green sleeves. And they don't. Welcome back to job. Hey, job. Time for some music now. introduce you to the Don. Hey, Luigi! Oh, my girls have been missing you so long, Salvatore. You've been away too you long. You tell them once this unfortunate business is taken care of, we'll all go down to the club and celebrate, okay? Here's my boy. How you doing, Pop? You got yourself a good woman yet? Hey, your mother, God bless her soul, would be turning over in her grave to see you without a wife. I know, Pop. I'm working on it. Tony! How's your mama? She's a great woman, you know, strong, Firenze. She's good, fine. Terrific, terrific. Now listen, you guys, you go inside while I talk to our new friend here. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. Okay. So, that was uh, Tony's mission. Missions, uh, let's start with Salvatore. Me and the fellas need to talk business, so you're gonna look after my girl for the evening. Hey, Maria! Move your butt! Dumb bro does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car, and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, Fido, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. Okay, so... Let's go find the... Uh, Chico, yeah.
Paul from France, Alera of Blue from Spain. Hey Chico, nah, just the usual. Here's your ball, lady. Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the East Side of Elana Keys. Thanks, Chico. See you around. Gracias. And enjoy. That's good stuff. In a box, so now directly to your party. Come on, Fido, let's go and check out this party. Flashback FM, where every night's a dance party. This is Tony on Flashback FM. Liberty City's home for the best in disco, electro, and new age. Okay, okay, we need you. Colombian cartel is making spanks somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob, works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. So we need to tail Curly Bob and kill him if, uh, if he uh, if he's betraying the mafia. Okay. Step 
was. Uh... Oh yeah, that's the taxi. <laughs> Let's just take the road so I don't uh, turn over any more cars here. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, the wonder for Aston's on today. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. Well, that's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was born stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. Now, thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Lazo. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Ah, uh, thanks. So tell me about Fernando's New Beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle, a blessing. It is a revolution in the map. Here comes our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, I'm No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, Squeer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Forellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore has become a dangerous and paranoid. He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? Yeah, so we need to kill Curly Bob. Possible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Oh! And let's take the shotgun. And uh, I guess that's it for this episode. Like I give a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems uh, like this. Okay. I, so, I, I wasn't really up to kissing on air. Tony. Why not? Not to Alfred in the next episode. No matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say, hypothetically, you make me all personal. It's a bit different. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Lazlo, your wife, she looks like yesterday. Yes, I'm not so right. I'm not so happy. Uh, it's a bit different. Anyway, the yeah, marriage I'll is impossible. Next episode. So if I marry uh, an angel, maybe impossible.